weapon swap. Reapply all my dots there. Then I have to go back again and leave things. Till blockade of fire is almost about to run up and play weapon swap again. That's usually how I track things. I don't track all debuffs because like it's pointless. You 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 need to be aware of your surroundings and if you're only looking at dot trackers you're gonna die all the time, okay? So that's probably gonna happen on console anyway because people are busy looking at the dot at, at those symbols like Oh, what's this? I need to not miss stuff. And then they stand in the red AOE and the rip is gonna happen 100%. At least there is a structure so you know on the left side things gonna run out pretty soon. Because you see those three fireballs. I think it's a snare applied to the enemy. Who cares? I don't care about the snare. I just wanna see the burning enemies and they go to the flames and they run out so I can reapply them. But those other two effects there are really like I cannot affect them anyway. They just proc when I use one of those abilities or when a fire ability is used. But I cannot affect them, so why would I want them on the screen? That's something on PC when you have add-ons you can do. And on console not. Is it a bad thing? I mean sure it's it's not optimal when you have all those debuffs there and it confuses you, but I think you just have to get used to it. Once you get used to it, it's not that big of a problem. Then another thing you might have noticed, the, the buff itself, when you look now, let me actually, let me use the fire stuff to have one. No. Oh, so you see the ground based dots are not shown on the enemy. Sure something pops up but that's the burning effect that just popped up. Or uh, other effect. It's not the ability itself. So you cannot track ground based damage abilities. Same with eruption. Something will pop up. But the thing that pops up there is the snare. You see, the second part of the text and reducing their movement speed by 70%. It's actually not the damage ability itself, because otherwise you would see a duration. It has 18 seconds, but it doesn't show anything. It just shows you that the enemy is snare. Healing abilities, like over time, are also on the bottom there. 